nearly a hundred pages with little good to say about the Ferguson police. A report last week detailed how local law enforcement regularly violated black residents' rights. It came six months after the death of Michael Brown, the young local African-American shot dead by a white police officer. Now the U.S. Justice Department is speaking of sweeping reforms. You know, coming up with an entirely new structure. And does that include dismantling the police force? And if that's what's it? necessary, we're prepared to do that. On Saturday, President Barack Obama himself spoke out over intolerant and racist police practices. He too is after reform of the justice system. The report's narrative was sadly familiar. It evoked the kind of abuse and disregard for citizens that spawned the civil rights movement. We just need to open our eyes and our ears and our hearts to know that this nation's racial history still casts its long shadow upon us. The previous day, another black youth was shot dead by police in the state of Wisconsin. The 19-year-old's mother swore her son was neither armed nor violent. My son is now another statistic of, of the, the things that are happening all over the United States. Another black kid shot by the police for no reason. This has got to stop. Tony Robinson has become just the latest name on a long list of black youth shot by U.S. police. However, demonstrators are determined there'll be no peace while they believe there's no justice.